Namaste to all of you. It's me, Shikha Mishra, TGT Science from GNB Both. Today, we are going to discuss here the chapter number one, Crop Protection and Management for Class 8th. Children, we have already talked about in Class 7th, the nutrition in plants and animals. And this nutrition is derived from food. When we are talking about the consumption of this food, where does this food comes from? So there need to be a kind of sequence to which ultimately get to the processed food that is consumed by us. So children, when we talk about this sequence, first step is regular production of food, second management, third distribution of food. So basically these three steps are necessary to provide food for a large scale population. So crop production is branch of agriculture that deals with the growing crops for use as food and fiber. Till 10,000 BC people were nomadic. They were wandering in groups from place to place in search of food and shelter. Children. Later, they could cultivate land and produce rice, wheat and other food crops. This was born agriculture. So, agriculture is the branch of biology which involves the practice of cultivating crops as well as rearing animals. So, what is crop? When plants of same type are grown and cultivated in a field at large scale, it's called a crop. Like wheat crop, paddy crop, etc. Next thing is types of crops. There are different types of crops. Cereal crops, for example, rice, wheat, pulse crops, gram, peas, vegetable crops, onion, potato, etc. Fruit crops, apple, banana, fiber crops, cotton, jute, etc and oil sheet crops like sunflower, mustard and other oil sheet crops. So children, there are predominantly three cropping season, Rabi, Zaid and Kharif. But as per as your syllabus, we will focus on two seasons, Kharif and Rabi. Kharif crops, the crop which are shown in rainy season are called Kharif crop. These crops are shown during June, July and harvested in September. For example, soybean, rice, groundnut, rabi crops, which are grown in winter season, are called rabi crops. These crops are shown during the October month and harvested by March. We can say that pea, mustard, wheat, gram, etc. are rabi crops. Next thing is agricultural practices. It involves several activities undertaken by farmers over a period of time. So children, first of all, what farmers do is prepare the soil. They sow the sheets after that they add manure and fertilizers. Then they provide water to the field. Then they remove any kind of unwanted plant. After that, they harvest crop or cutting down and ultimately they store it so storage is the last step. Now we talk about these steps one by one. First step is preparation of soil. In this, soil is prepared for sowing the sheets of the crop. It is carried out by using various processes such as tilling or blowing. Tilling or blowing is done by various tools like plow, hoe and cultivator. Children, loosening and turning the soil is beneficial process because in loose soil, plants' roots penetrate freely and deeper into the soil. It also helps in removing weeds. So second step is sowing. It means planting the sheets in the soil before sowing of the sheets. Farmers have to select good qualities of sheet. So we can select good quality of sheets by putting them into the water. We see that the damaged sheet float on water whereas the good sheets sink. Sewing is done 
either manually or by using sheet drill machine. By using sheet drill, farmers can save their time and labor. Also, there is a uniform distribution of sheet. Here is a question, why are plants kept in small bags in nursery? So children, as you know, nursery is a place where young plants and trees are grown for planting elsewhere. This process is called transplantation. So it allows the seedling to be planted at the right spacing. So the plant can get uniform light, nutrients and water. It also protects the plants from overcrowding and also it helps to select better and healthy seedling for the cultivation of crops. Third step is adding manure and fertilizer. By adding manure and fertilizer, farmer increase the fertility of the soil. The main difference between manure and fertilizer are fertilizer is an inorganic salt while manure is organic. Fertilizers are prepared in factories and not provide any humus to soil. Whereas manure can be prepared in farms and in fields. It provides a lot of humus to soil. There are many advantages of manure over fertilizer. It improves the texture of the soil, enhance the water holding capacity of the soil and make soil porous also. Next important step is irrigation. The supply of water to crops at different intervals is called irrigation. There are many sources of irrigation like tubules, bells, rains, pond, etc. There are two types of irrigation method, traditional method like moat, thickly, chain pump and rahat and second method is modern method. To overcome the problems of traditional method, modern methods of irrigation are used like a sprinkler system and drip irrigation system. Next, but very important step is protection from weeds. Undesirable plants that grow naturally along with the crop are called weeds. Removal of weeds is called weeding. So farmer removes weeds by tilling before sowing of crops, manually removing then using khurpi and spraying vidicides such as 2,4-D, naphthalene acetic acid and atrazine. So, weeds affect the growth of crops by absorbing the water and nutrients from the soil. It reduces the crop yield. Next step is harvesting. The cutting of crop after it is mature is called harvesting. Harvesting is also done manually by sickle or by a machine. In India, many festivals are associated with harvesting like Pongal, Baisakhi, etc. In the harvest crop, the grain sheets need to separate it from the chef with the help of machine called combine. This process is called threshing. Combine machine is combination of harvester and thresher. Then threshing is followed by winnowing. The next and last step is storage. If storage is not done in well maintained order, our crops get destroyed. There are certain sheets that need dry storage and certain sheets they need cold temperature for storage. At large scale, they are kept in silos and granaries and at small scale, grains are stored in bags or metallic bins. So by storage, food does not get spoiled availability of fruits and vegetable whole year. Next important thing is animal husbandry. Animal husbandry is the management and care of farms animals for milk, egg or meat. Animals are mainly categorized into two major groups. First milk animals means milk yielding animals like cow, buffaloes. Second, egg and meat yielding animals like fish, sheep, etc. So, this is all about crop protection. Please, children, stay at home and stay safe. Thank you.